Intel has a stubby one for you. Microsoft wanted to stub Sony's toes and AMD stubbing all over Nvidia. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Wednesday, June 28th, 2023. What, what are days? What are I've days? been awake for 36 hours straight. I just got back from the hospital. I am dead exhausted, but I'm dead serious about bringing you hot news, especially talking about the new Granite Rapids AP. Massive CPUs, we've got real pictures of them now. And these things are just gigantic, coming in at 7,529 pins. These things are more robust than your mother. That is more than I can account. I'm tired, the bad jokes are coming out. If you want to compare that to Epic, they have a 6,096 pin socket, which is uh, UTEG uh, blue team. All right, Reese is providing the- The one has more pins, therefore. Heckling commentary, that's what we appreciate around here. You know what else we appreciate around here? Taste. Video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. I was unfortunately recently in a car accident with a friend in the car. Thankfully, it was super minor with no injuries and my car was barely ding, but as soon as we were hit, the thought flashed through my mind of how much of a hassle things were going to be if I was injured or my passenger was injured. And while I thankfully didn't have to use them, with Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. Morgan & Morgan has modernized the injury law process so you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever having to leave your couch. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records and doctor's bills all from your phone. You can even text your attorney and case manager without having to go into an office. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things that you should do. And with Morgan & Morgan, submitting a claim is so easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they were injured in a car accident. If you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less and you can have American America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at forthepeople.com forward slash UFD or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell. Big thanks again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into some more legal things, talking about Microsoft and the FTC lawsuit that's going on with them purchasing the Activision Blizzard setup that they wanna do. And we got some details, especially because the CEO of PlayStation came out and gave his deposition, where he essentially said, I. Microsoft sucks and people don't like Game Pass. We can compete with Game Pass, but the devs don't want to pay for Game Pass and Microsoft strong arming them. And it's this is just bad for the industry. Don't let them do it. But we also got some documentation coming out from Microsoft where they talked about how the, they could bring Sony down. They could stub all of PlayStation toes saying we Microsoft are in a very unique position to be able to go spend Sony out of business. Continuing that it is practically impossible for anyone to start a new video streaming service at a scale at this point. And that in games, Google is three to four years away from being able to have a studio up and running. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon has shown no ability to execute on game content. Content is the one moat that we have in terms of a catalog that runs on current devices and the capability to create new. Sony is really the only other player who could compete with Game Pass, and we have a two year and 10 million subs lead. But one of the things you will notice is that this statement was found in an email that they published in 2019, okay? This happened four years ago at this point. So Microsoft in court said that this is in all the email and that it never pursued such a strategy. This email's three and a half years old and predates the announcement of our acquisition by 25 months. It refers to industry trends that we never pursued and is unrelated to the acquisition. It's literally the whole acquisition. Uh huh. You're buying a content moat. What are you talking about? Now, I don't understand legalese very well. Maybe they could wiggle their arguments with their lawyers talking up a big fancy storm of complicated words that I don't get, but I understand that this is, they're doing what they said back in 2019. They're executing on their strategic vision and the whole reason that they wanted to do this is right before our eyes. They, they're trying to put Sony out of business by acquiring everything. Just buy Sony. I mean, actually, if you look at it, the PlayStation division of Sony is not very big. Like it's just, Genshin Impact makes a lot of money compared to Sony. Buy Sony, problem solved. Come on, Microsoft. There's no antitrust things to deal with there. And I got a little bit of trust issues with you, Reese, because sometimes you don't do the deals. Yeah. And I've been away at the hospital, so I didn't know if you were gonna do deals yesterday and you did. You got deals today? Maybe, wouldn't you like to know? Weather boy. And we're switching. And first up, we have the InnoGear mic arm with cable routing channels and a detachable riser going for $39.99, making it $40 off. 
that's a good deal. But then next up, we have the Epo Sennheiser Combo GSP 600 Wired Gaming Headset, going for only $79.99, making it $69.01 off. Nice. That's a nice deal. And then lastly, we have the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, 128 gig, unlocked version of the phone, going for only $499.99, making it $500 off if you kind of got burnt off by the Pixel Flip phones yesterday. Who knows, maybe grab one of these. That's a flipping deal. <laughs> That's a flipping deal? Flipping good. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brad for the rest of your hot news. He's calling Brad? Yeah. Or Brad. Brat with one T. Oh, that hurts in multiple ways. It looks like Tesla has a lot of deals for all of the car manufacturers who are producing EVs because we got yet another company folding to being on the NACS charging standard, which is what Tesla uses on their vehicles. Volvo announcing that they are gonna start rolling out the adoption of that charger starting next year. If you have a Volvo electric vehicle, which probably isn't a lot of people, Polestar's included here though, and those are pretty decent. I do actually know somebody with a Volvo electric SUV. Really? Yeah. And and they complain about how the chargers around here suck. And it's it's definitely if they could use superchargers, it would incredibly increase the experience. So you'll need an adapter for 2024 and vehicles starting in 2025 will have the NACS port baked in. But also with that, ChargePoint announcing that they're gonna start rolling out Tesla connectors at their charging stations, NACS being rolled out to them on top of the CCS and all the other ones that they have available at them. But this is something that they did six years ago and then uh, they didn't ask Tesla for permission and then Tesla told them to stop and then now 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 it's come for for that time is a circle yeah the whole thing Ouroboros yeah Ouroboros it's eating its butt you heard it here first, folks, which is exactly what actually seems to be happening over at Lordstown, which is another electric truck manufacturer. You don't hear too much about this number one because it's from Ohio oh and number two because the vehicle kind of sucks so this was supposed to be a fleet vehicle and it lordstown has had a very sordid history they ended up getting in a deal with foxconn which is the company that you're typically known for making your iphones they have a plant over in lordstown ohio we're actually i've driven past it several times we're not going to drive past it on the way to the micro center it's not on not on the way to that one. But now Lordstown has declared bankruptcy and is suing Foxconn for acting in bad faith to get control of the factory and its workers without intending to support the actual truck EV and that they had the intended effect of destroying the business of an American startup, which is entirely possible, but also the Lordstown Endurance was a shame of an electric truck. So this thing was supposed to do 250 miles per charge, which is not a lot in the EV space, especially when it comes to a truck. That's like the yeah. base level Ford F-150 Lightning. That's nowhere near what the Cybertruck's supposed to do, not even close to what the Rivian does. That's what they said they were going to do. Not only were they late by several years, they delivered a truck that could go only 174 miles. That's that that's sucks. fewer. And if you're using a truck to do things, you want to go places. And you can't go places with Lordstown. Boo. And if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can't go to space. It's official. Starfield announcing that AMD is their exclusive PC partner that's happening right now. This was an announcement that came out from Todd Howard and AMD discussing the fact that FSR2 support and multi-threaded chip support for AMD is now gonna be baked into Starfield and that they are the exclusive PC partner. <laughs> Nvidia be damned. Todd Howard did it again. He did it again. So part of this is that they're gonna be fully able to utilize the Ryzen 7000, RX 6000 setups that are going on right now. But one of the things, that's uh, really interesting is that this is FSR 2 support and Starfield's launching in a few months. And so what happened to 3? Yeah, FSR 3 is supposed to be out. It, I mean, it does make sense. Consoles are only going to support 2, but just like in, the AMD dropped the discussion of FSR 3. They were like, we're releasing it. And then now there's just nothing. Not even like with the biggest launch this year for PC. Is there a bigger launch for PC this year? I don't think so. Starfield's like it. Yeah. Red for the Yeah, late, late this year, this is this is gonna be it. So a lot of this does make sense, especially because Microsoft develops the Xbox Series X. That's all AMD technology. They want to partner with this, but Redfall was an NVIDIA partnered game, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But the thing to take away from this is one of the things that we actually discussed in an earlier episode of Hot News this week, as you can see by this 
uh, more rested man right here. <laughs> One of the things that AMD has been doing is that in their exclusive launch partner titles, they preclude the use of DLSS. At least that's what it looks like on the surface. Out of 13 AMD partner titles, only three of them had DLSS, whereas out of all of the NVIDIA partner titles, they all had a version of FSR. And I've been reading a whole bunch of opinions. I'll, this is a very contentious topic out on the internet. I've looked at both pro AMD, pro NVIDIA, kind of people in the middle. And what it really boils down to is that there actually really isn't much of an excuse for a company this big as Bethesda, as Microsoft to not actually be able to implement DLSS or Intel's XESS. There's really no developmental reason why they can't actually do this. There's no cost prohibition. None of that actually exists. This is simply going to be if the money is right and if they're trying to create some sort of synergy that makes it so it it plays out properly. A lot of people are citing the issues that we've seen with Jedi Survivor and a bunch of other ports that were AMD exclusive partnered content and seeing that yeah, this doesn't tend to bode well for a video game. And then on top of that, this is Bethesda we're talking yeah. about. And even if you say this is your least buggy game ever, the ceiling, the, the, the bar is up here. So just releasing it right here still means that there's a garbage ton of bugs. And then it will obviously have to wait and see how this plays out. They haven't explicitly said that there won't be any NVIDIA DLSS support, but that's likely what it's looking like at the current moment. I want to hear from you, especially since this is a contentious issue across the interwebs. What do you think about this? Do you care that Starfield won't support DLSS? Are you going to turn to the modding scene in order to do it for you, especially since we've seen it added into things like Jedi Survivor by modders before? Sound off down below in the comments, and I'm going to sound some Z's. Go do that. I'm gonna go sleep. We'll be back with more of the... You got this. Tech linked tomorrow. That's who we are, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm dreaming already. <laughs>